Okay, we're going to be looking at uh, arc length and sector area. So one thing we're going to need to see is anytime you have arc length, think that I need the circumference first. So that's going to be 2 pi r. Anytime you have sector area, think you need the area first, and the area is pi r squared. So make sure you have those formulas down pat because you're going to use those. You'll have a few on your uh, practice worksheet where it's just asking for circumference and area. In that case, you'll just use this first part and be done. Uh, but here we're looking for the entire arc length. So on this first one, start by finding the circumference. The circumference is 2 pi r. In this case, r is 8. So some of my circumference is 16 pi. I just do 2 times 8 is 16 and leave the pi on your paper because we want answers in terms of pi. Now for the arc length, I take the measure of the arc in degrees and I do 60 out of 360. I compare 60 degrees because that's the arc I have. Oh, the central angle always matches the arc, remember. And I do it out of 360 because there's 360 degrees in the entire circle. Multiply that by 16 pi. So that's going to be 1 sixth of 16. To make sure you understand what I'm meaning about Desmos, what I can do is I can type in 60 out of 360 times 16. And in terms of pi, I would have 8 thirds. Remember, you can just use this little button to make that a fraction. So I have 8 thirds pi or 8 pi over 3 for my final answer for my arc length. So if you wanted the circumference, the circumference is 16 pi, but in this case it wants the arc length, which is 8 pi over 3 or 8 thirds pi. If you wanted a decimal, of course you could type the pi in Desmos beside that, and then it would give you a decimal value of 8.37, but in this case we wanted it in terms of pi, so 8 thirds pi is the best way to go. Uh, the next one, you might want to pause the video and try it on your own. This one though, uh, circumference is still 2 pi r. This time they don't give me my radius, but they do give me my diameter. So my diameter is 9, that means my radius is half of that, 4.5. So that does give me a 9 pi for my circumference. And then to find your arc, you would multiply your 9 pi times 75 over 360. Reach for Desmos again. Nine times seventy-five over sixty or three sixty is one point eight seven five as a fraction. That's how we usually want them. It's fifteen over eight. So I have fifteen over eight, and don't forget to put the pi with it. You can just put the pi out to the side, or you can put it on top with the fifteen. Same difference, fifteen pi over eight. Uh, fifteen over eight times pi. Same thing. That's how you do arc length. Uh, we'll go ahead and pause the video and get you, you might want to pause the video, write this down, then we'll do sector area. Okay, on the next one, sector area, remember start with the area of a circle formula, which is pi r squared. So I have pi times 9 squared is 81 pi. Then I'm going to have 285 over 360 times 81 pi That's going to be 513 over 8. That's a little ugly, but that is the answer in terms of pi, 513 over 8. If you like, hey, about how big is that? You can always type a pi in, remember, right beside it, and it'll make a decimal instead. You can go ahead and try the next one. Same basic idea. You have pi times 6 squared would be 36 pi, and then just do 150 over 360 times that answer, and I'll leave it to you to put this one in Desmos and simplify it out. 